In terms of the judging, uh, the first thing we should say is that we're going to be as transparent as we can. That's to say you'll absolutely have the ability to access the marks for your own papers um, if you request them. So we're very keen to be transparent there. Um, in terms of how you actually win, there'll be two different phases, and both will carry equal marks. The first will be the shortlisting phase, where you'll submit your written submission to the shortlisting jury of your peers, effectively. Um, half the marks will be awarded there. The second half of the marks will be for those that get through that stage to the finals, um, and uh, a small team of um, marketers, communication experts, planners, uh, clients, will then award a second and equal uh, set of marks and you'll have to perform well both in the written and the presentation phases to win. The criteria actually across both sets of juries are, are exactly the same really. So uh, the first one is how compelling is the story and that's about uh, both the uh, written format in the first place and then the quality of the presentation because we think that part of being a planner these days is the ability to package your thinking. The second is the very, very important, um, in fact central uh, criterion which is how how good is the strategic idea in the first place? And remember, it's the strategic idea we're looking for rather than necessarily the creative execution, although you would hope the two would go hand in hand. The third criterion is about new learning, because obviously we'd like these awards to um, teach the rest of us a thing or two about the state of planning these days. And then finally, we've got a few marks allocated for the I wish I did that factor, the jealousy factor.